What's going on everybody? Thanks for joining me for my next Homebrew Wednesday. I just want to give a thank you to all the brew tubers out there. You guys are an awesome inspiration. You're what got me inspired into the hobby of brewing. And it's just really been an awesome young adventure and journey for me so far. And it's because of you that I got interested in it and that I was able to get the information I needed to get started and get into it. And I just really want to say thank you. And I really appreciate your effort and your time to make those videos about your hobby. And it's really gotten me into it. So thank you. So what have I been up to? I've been working on my all green setup. And uh, last time I talked to you, I was going back and forth with what I was going to do with my all grain cart. I had, I got that figured out. And what I did is I purchased a stainless steel cart. Also, I brewed that sweet stout, uh, and hopefully, that was an extract kit. I'll put the link up here for the brewing, and uh, hopefully it turned out great. I'm gonna taste it here in a second. It's not gonna be the official tasting of the sweet stout. It's still a little early, but um, I kegged it. It's got a wonderful smell coming from it. You can see all the trouble on the bottom. I think I need to upgrade to a conical fermenter where I can get rid of this trub. And that's probably going to give me some better flavors, but I'm not positive. Uh, still, still kind of playing with this stuff. I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. But uh, definitely got a good inch of trouble on the bottom there. I am going to spray it again just to, just to be safe. And let's get it going. I did not cold crash this one. Uh, I want to see the difference and rather it was necessary or not on on this uh, on this stout beer and that may be a mistake but uh, there's only one way to find out I don't see any floaties coming through at all I think that's about all I'm gonna risk Right there. Looking ahead for me, I designed my own beer and I kind of modeled it after a Yards Brewery beer that I really, really like. It's an IPA beer. I know it may seem like I'm maybe jumping ahead a little bit in my, my young brewing uh, hobby here, but uh, I think 
that if I stick to this recipe that I've, I've kind of pieced together off Yards Brewery's uh, beer, I think it'll turn out pretty good. Maybe not, I don't know, we'll find out. But uh, I really, really like this beer that they put out. So uh, look ahead for that. That's gonna be coming out. Hopefully that'll go okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna record the, the brew day and uh, hopefully that'll go all right. So the sweet stout. It's been in the keg carbonating for about eight, nine days at nine PSI. But that's not enough because it, it really doesn't have any head to it. It doesn't have much carbonation or it doesn't appear to anyway. I haven't tasted it. Uh, but I want to go ahead and taste it. I know it's not complete. I know it's not aged enough and I know the carbonation is not quite there, but I, I just can't stop myself. I want to just taste it to see where it's at and also to get an idea of you know how far off the carbonation is. I'm going to give you my quick thoughts on the aroma and the taste and we'll go from there. It's about 44 degrees or so, so I probably need to let it come up in temperature even a little more to really get the, you know, the flavor out of it. Um, my big concern with extracts have been being able to get enough body in, in the beer. I don't feel like you know, any of the extracts that I've been able to taste have much body in them. And I think that's probably where I'm gonna end up with this, but I don't know, we'll see. Not a whole lot of smell there. Uh, you know, kind of a sweet smell, like almost almost a root beerish kind of smell, but really not a whole lot else. Okay, well, you know, I'm a bit surprised with the with the taste. It's got a little bit of body to it. I'm gonna say medium to light body. Uh, you can taste a little bit of the roasted grains in it. Not, not much, but it, there's more than I thought there would be for an extract kit. Carbonation is close, a lot closer than what I thought it was. So, there's some lacing on the glass. Um, so I don't know why I don't have head because it definitely didn't pour with head. And that's even when I poured it out of the tap. I, used, I, I mean, you saw how I did it. I just kind of let it splash down in there and I still didn't have head. So if anybody can give me any suggestions there, Leave those down in the comments below. It's a good beer. And I think it's I think it's gonna be a really good beer actually after it ages for another week or so. And get a little more carbonation on it. I'm gonna leave it rated right about nine PSI, let it sit for another week. I think this come up the room temperature. I think it'd be a really good beer. You know, it's probably ninety percent carbonated. Pretty shocked because I wasn't expecting anywhere near these kind of results. So, I mean, especially for an extract kit that I thought was premature. So, I know I said I was just gonna be brief about it, but I'm pretty, uh, you know, I'm pretty shocked to be honest with you. So, that I think that's the awesome thing about brewing. And it's, it's just, it's, it's pretty cool. I appreciate you joining me for the video on my Homebrew Wednesday. Appreciate your support. Like I said, any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. I really appreciate you sticking around to watch the whole video. Check out these other videos over here. You may very well be interested in those also. The inspiration behind the videos is your feedback. And the best way to give me your feedback is to hit the like button down below. Most importantly, hit the subscribe button down below. And you can also leave comments. I can't wait to see you next time.